Do you want to know how to write better HPIs and present your HMPs better in a way that is more clear for your fellow residents, students, and attendings? If so, then this is the video for you. State the nature of your medical emergency. As a senior resident, I've been noticing more and more that when I'm listening to my medical students or my interns' presentations and reading their notes, there's a big factor that really separates a good and clear HMP and history of present illness compared to ones that are kind of all over the place and not really making a ton of sense. And I think we've probably learned all of this in medical school, but it has to be something that is reiterated, reinforced, and just people need to be reminded of it in order to do it. I think that the biggest thing that separates a clear and easily understood HPI is having the clear time course of when everything started and putting things in chronological order so people really know a exact time frame of how things happened and progressed over time. My favorite thing to do is when I say the chief complaint, I will say, you know, this is an 87 year old man with a history of COPD presenting with shortness of breath for the past week. The reason this is so important is because, you know, my differential and the things I'm thinking of for one week of shortness of breath is so much different than if this shortness of breath had been going on for three months or a year or one day. When you frame it that way, your your listener is immediately going to be thinking a certain way. And then, if, you know, if your person has had multiple hospitalizations or multiple ED visits or whatever, you need to go in order, summarizing everything from the very beginning in a chronological order. I think that's the most clear and easy way to follow things uh, as they go along. Too many times when I'm listening to the, the presentations, it doesn't even have a clear time course of you know, when the shortness of breath started, right? Or when, when the symptoms started. I honestly think that is probably the most important piece of information that any HPI can have is how long has this been going on? Like I said, it has to be reiterated. We've learned this all in medical school, but I think when people go into their medical student rotations or intern year, they forget how important it is to clearly define the chronological story of how things progressed. So in order to make a better HPI, make sure you really clearly, and I love to do this, is just I'll put a date and then I'll say, this is when this happened. Then I'll put the next date and this is this happened on that date, so on and so forth. So again, in your chief complaint, say how long it's been going on overall. And then in your HPI, put dates and just chronologically, sequentially discuss how the patient's disease or condition has been progressing over that time course. Those are some quick and easy steps for making your presentations and HPIs more easily understood and clear and in just overall better. If you like this video, watch my other video here, oh, over here, sorry, right here on uh, whatever YouTube is recommending you watch for my channel because YouTube knows best and they are recommending you watch this video. Hope to see you in that one and peace. Let me know if they recommended the right video for you.